hybrid calculus students, I wanted to go over section 10.1 uh, limits and how to use a calculator. So here we have a function and we want to take its limit as x goes towards 2. Okay, so what I need to do first is put the function in. So e, I have a natural log, to the x minus 2. And I'm just going to go ahead and go uh, graph it. So it looks like there's going to be a really easy limit to find. And if I just go up to calc, number one is value. What happens as x goes still? What happens at x equals 2? Well, the function itself is 1. So we're going to expect this limit to be 1. But I wanted to show you how you can use your table to see this as well. So I'm going to go to table set and change it, the independent variable, that x, from auto to ask. So that when I go to the table, it's kind of like it's saying, well, what kind of number do you want for x? So let me go a little bit below 2 or to the left. So one point, whoa, I was trying to use the keyboard. It didn't work. 1.9, 1.99. One point nine nine nine. Okay, so you see how I'm building up, and it looks like it's definitely getting really close to one. So let me start above two. So like, uh, sorry, I'm trying to use the keyboard again. Two point one, two point oh one, two point zero zero one. So this is from the left side. This is from the right side, and we see that both of them are coming right down to looks like one. So we, we feel pretty confident, we, I, <laughs> feel confident saying, all right, the limit as x approaches 2 of the function equals 1. What if it's a little bit different function? Yeah, I'm trying to move PowerPoint here. All right, so this is a rational function, meaning there's stuff on the top and stuff on the bottom, and we want to know what happens as we go to negative 1. Well, we're just looking at, we stick negative 1 in here, and we're going to be dividing by 0. And up here we've got negative 1 squared is 1, and we'll have minus 2 plus 1, so it's going to be 0 on the top as well. So if I come to the calculator, change my function, clear it out, okay, x squared plus 2 x plus 1, close the parentheses, divide, x plus 1. Alright, so if I graph that, it looks like it's there, doesn't it? But let me show you what happens at, as if I try the value. So, I come here, I say value, what happens at negative 1? And there's no y value. It The function itself is doesn't exist at 1. But we can see if we approach it from the left here, so using the mouse from the left, or from the left, from the left side, and from the right this way, we can see that it's probably got a limit. So let's go ahead and go to the table. I'm going to delete all this stuff. Delete, delete. Okay, so negative 1.9, negative 1.99, negative 1.999. It looks like we're getting close to negative 1, doesn't it? So let's try a little bit uh, to the left of it. So negative 2.1, negative 2.01, negative 2.001, and yep, looks like we're going to negative 1. So I'd say the limit of the function as x approaches negative 1 is negative 1. So those are the easy problems, right? <laughs> the first six. What happens when you get limits of infinity and you can't put infinity in your calculator? Well, we've got a couple solutions. Solution number one is uh, use an uh, algebra trick, algebra 2 trick. I talked about an airplane, how it comes in for landing. You know, the airplane flies all over the place, wee, 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 and then it needs to come in for a landing. 
in the long run, what does the function do? That's what we mean by infinity, as it approaches infinity, as it goes in for the landing. Well, in the land, uh, long run for an airplane, we say it's headed for the runway and it's going to land on the runway. If it happened to be a space shuttle, it would be zooming up off into space. So a lot of times those are our two choices, you know, up into space or in for a landing. So when we go back to those rational functions where we have uh, functions on top and functions on bottom, what's going to be most important in the long run are, so as we go for infinity, are the pieces of um, <clears throat> the polynomials here with the highest power. So even though this is x to the fourth, this one's x to the fifth. So it's more important. So we, we just say, okay, we're going to get rid of this rest of the function and call this new function long run function and then we just what's most important those are the pe important pieces and they actually simplify to one half which means that our limit as x approaches infinity of the function is one half this is the like the runway for an airplane so put a box around it call it good okay here's another function it's not a rational function, it's, we've got some multiplication here, but we have a polynomial on the left and an exponential function on the right. See, the function is in the exponent, so it's an exponential function. All right, so we take this function, we want to go to negative infinity. Well, what's going to happen? Well, here's our calculator trick. Why don't we graph this and zoom out? Okay, so going back to the calculator, looks like I've got it turned on. Y equals, we'll clear this out, parenthesis, x raised to the 10th power plus 2x raised to the 5th plus 1 times that e to the x. Okay, I'm going to graph it, and wow, that's an interesting function. Got kind of a bounce. Let me just double check that. Oh, I put a minus in there. Okay. Let's say I've been doing this and I don't remember. Okay. Graph. There we go. That's, that looks like that. All right, but what happens in the long run? Well, I'm going to zoom out. So zoom. The number three is out. It says zoom out right here. Yep. So look, it comes down. Does it go back up again? Um, doesn't look like. Looks like it's got sort of a U like this. But let's go ahead and check on the table. Second table. Delete, 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 delete. So we were headed to negative infinity. Let me just put in negative 10. Negative 20. Negative 30. 30. It looks like we're going from huge down to 55. Negative 40. Wow, that's really small. Negative 50. Uh, practically zero. Negative 100. Uh, yeah, super, super close to zero. So I'm guessing that in the long run, this function is going to go to zero. That's what its limit will be. Okay, so we graphed it, we zoomed out, and we saw it's going to zero. So the reason for that is the exponential function right here can overpower a polynomial or a constant. The exponential functions are much stronger than polynomials, even if it was of you know, like 100 up here. Exponential functions are still stronger in the long run. So what happens to them really determines what their limit is. So we just don't even worry about that polynomial part in the long run. So that the limit of the function is going to be equivalent to the limit of just e to the x as x approaches negative infinity. In this case, it's just going to go, as we go up to negative infinity, we're going to get a zero. Because that's the landing uh, runway for this 
function, just right down to zero. Okay, if we go to number 39 from the homework, so this is my last example. The number of articles published per year can be modeled by this function. This is an interesting, it's sort of a power function. Its only variable is right here. You notice how it's got a negative there? And t is, in, is time in here since 1983. So number of articles is going to equal this function. Numerically estimate the limit as t goes to infinity and interpret the answer. So um, since t is going off to infinity, we're just going to say in the long run, which might be 50 years from now, 100 years from now, we don't know. So we need to figure out what this limit is and then interpret it. So again, we're going to have this exponential piece right up here. And so it's going to be the deciding factor. The rest of it, see, it's just constants. So in the long run, we take this function and realize that as you know, if t is supposed to be positive, well, negative t then is going uh, towards negative infinity, and this number, just like the one before, is heading off to zero, which is just going to leave behind 7,000 over 1. So as t goes to infinity, oh, I forgot to change that. I wrote x, I'm so sorry. It's going to be 7,000. So 7,000 uh, articles per year is what we're going to be estimating in the long run. All right. So put a box around it, call it good. Hope that helps.